Welcome back to the channel folks and this is a uh, camera review time. Um, I got one of these Exacta Varex or V in, uh, in Hagee, Dresden. This is uh, this is basically the the German made uh, Rolls Royce of cameras back in the day. This is uh, the most uh, over engineered and uh, incredible attention to, to construction and quality that you can get in a camera. And um, I got one that was not functioning. I try, um, I'm going to try and fix it, get it fixed. Uh, but it's got some issues and uh, I just wanted to show it on the channel. Um, this one comes with a Carl Zeiss Jenna. Uh, 1.35 millimeter, about 50 millimeter lens, and uh, it's an incredible lens, and the camera's an incredible camera. Sometimes you you get these lenses on these cameras, and the lens is worth more than the camera. Well, in this case, I think the they're both pretty awesome. Uh, the camera itself is just beautiful. Uh, the engineering on this thing is amazing. Um, and, uh, you know, it, uh, it's very co complicated. It's a very complicated camera. Look at the lens there. Um, I cleaned it up. I just got it in. Uh, I'm going to do a, a, a retouch on it. Uh, also, after it gets uh, serviced, I'm going to see who can service this camera because that's one of the things. These cameras, uh, most camera places will not service it because they don't know. It's just too complicated for them. So this is what I got to figure out and uh, research to make sure I find uh, the right uh, technicians that can uh, fix the, the issues on this camera. Uh, as you can see, it's completely different from most cameras because you wind, you wind on this side. Everything is on the left-hand side. It's more made for a left-hander than a right-hander. You got the film advance and you got... Uh, your settings now in this type of camera you gotta uh, do the, the film advance before you move the the knob for the settings and you push it pull up and then you you adjust your settings and here you got the timer uh, mechanism um, here this right here is to uh, go ahead and uh, put the film back in the canister you lift this up it's got a lot of different functions that uh, that you don't see in just uh, everyday uh, cameras. Uh, this thing was, uh, like I said, it was over-engineered. As you can see, it has some rough spots. Uh, you got a little bit of uh, rust on the right here on the viewfinder. And this right here, this is missing the leather. Uh, that's probably the glue that they used to use to to put the leather, so we're gonna go ahead and fix that. Uh, get some leather in there. And this is gonna be a project, folks. This, this, is, this is gonna be a project camera, but I think uh, once it's uh, ready, it's gonna be worth every penny uh, to get it fixed. And because this is a, this is a work of art, as you can, look at, look at the design of this thing. They don't make things like this anymore, items like this anymore. This this was super uh, mechanical, construction-wise. Everything is detailed. Everything is steel. There's no plastic parts. I mean, this is just as well-made as you can get. It looks like a tank. And uh, look at look at the the curvature on the, on that uh, camera. It's just incredible uh, technology and and just engineering uh, back in the day. This one was from 1950. Supposedly this one here, uh, the Exacta V, uh, is the ones that they used to ship to the US. Um, in uh, Europe, they used to call them the Exacta Varix. Um, I'm not sure if that's the real reason, but uh, that's what, I, that's what uh, I, I saw in a forum there. So, um, this the pen of prism comes out and and it can come right off and you push this down and it comes off uh, so and but I'm gonna go ahead and uh, try to get this thing fixed and uh, once I get it fixed it might go up on sale on Etsy uh, I'm not sure yet uh, we'll figure it out 
depending on the cost of the of the uh, what it has, what's uh, what's the deal? See this right here, as you can see, has no noise whatsoever. Uh, so it, and it has no resistance. So that's what needs to be fixed. I'm not sure if there's a, something in there that's loose. Uh, but you really got to know what you're doing when you're dealing with these cameras. So here's the shutter button right here. Um, but anyway, I uh, just wanted to show it on the channel, folks. And uh, it's just a beautiful, beautiful uh, camera. I don't think there's any uh, camera made that was as, as well done as this one. So uh, this once again, this is the Exacta V. Um, Exacta Varix, Exacta V, uh, from 1950, German-made uh, Rolls-Royce of cameras. Thanks for watching, folks.